Opening the Steam Workshop for Project Zomboid may be a little daunting at first, but after watching this video, you'll know 12 quality of life mods that you should not play Project Zomboid without. The first mod we're going to talk about is the More Description for Traits mod. This mod adds all effects, bonuses, and negatives for the trait in the description when you hover over the trait in the character creation menu. It does work with many other trait mods that add traits to the game, such as the Dynamic Traits mod, and all of the hidden effects that you can't normally see are shown in parentheses in the new trait description when this mod is enabled. Our next mod on the list is the Weapon Condition Indicator mod by Noctis Falco. This mod shows the durability remaining for the weapon that you have on the hotbar and when it is equipped. Also, when the condition lowers, an overhead notification appears on your character and the icon flashes in your inventory. This mod is fully configurable with many options and levels of detail that can be found in the mod options. And I will say that this is almost an entirely necessary mod because going in and checking the weapon condition in your inventory takes a lot of time and you can't do it on the fly when you're fighting a huge horde of zombies. Our third mod of the video goes to the Equipment UI mod. And this mod shows your equipped clothing, weapons, bags, backpacks, watches, rings, or anything that is worn on your character on an Escape from Tarkov style display. It has its own dedicated window that is attached to the player inventory or can be moved around independently. And supposedly, part two of this mod will bring Tarkov style inventory management to the game. And that's basically just in terms of certain items taking up certain grid spaces. If you've ever played Tarkov before, you understand what I'm talking about. Now I've grouped these next five mods into a group that focuses on map mods that make using the Project Zomboid in-game map a lot easier and more functional. Map Legend UI provides a map legend which defines what building types are represented by specific colors on the maps. Draw on the map allows you to draw on the map freehand and change the thickness and how full the lines are to make solid or dashed lines. Extra Map Symbols and Extra Map Symbols UI are technically two separate mods, but some features in each of them require the other to work, so make sure that you pick up both of these. Extra Map Symbols adds additional map symbols in the base game's default styling, and it also adds symbol variants so that every time you place a specific symbol, it's not going to look exactly the same. The extra map symbols UI changes the display area of the symbols and you can use crayons as a map marker instead of just the normal pens and pencil. More maps adds map items of vanilla and modded locations in Knox County. You can customize the spawning of these map items and currently it supports 45 modded locations at the time of this recording. The final one of this group is the map symbol size slider mod, which allows a resizing of map symbols and the notes that you place on the map. And now that we're out of the map mods, we'll go over the clear description for Moodle's mod, which adds descriptions for the Moodle's effects on the player when hovering over the Moodle when it is active. And I will say out of all of the mods in this video, this mod's splash art on the Steam Workshop definitely takes the cake for the best splash art. The Better Sorting mod by Chobits Crazy is another one of those mods that you really just can't play Project Zomboid without, in my opinion, because it adds more detailed item categories to help sort your inventory and storage. By default, there's so many different items in the game that just have item as the like category and description of it, but this mod adds so many more categories like medical, or literature, or skill books, those sorts of things. So be sure to pick this one up. This is a must have because once you use it, it feels really weird to go back to vanilla. On the complete opposite end of the spectrum from the better sorting mod, we have daily XP gains and stats. Now this doesn't directly affect gameplay in any way. It just gives you a summary of the zombies killed, XP gained, and character weight change at midnight when the player is asleep at the end of each in-game day. 
Now, like I said, this doesn't affect gameplay really in any way. It's just really cool to have a summary of everything that you accomplished during the day in terms of clearing out zombies or the XP and the skills that you have trained. And now our final mod for this video, I did not forget about it. It is the fuel side indicator mod. And this is one that really should be already included in the game, but the devs for some reason did not include it. This mod shows what side the gas tank of your vehicle is on, just like in real life. So when you pull up to the gas pump and you clear out all the zombies, you don't have to flip your vehicle around when you realize that the gas tank is actually on the other side of your vehicle. And another great thing to note is it should work with any other Project Zomboid vehicle mods that you decide to put into your game. And that's going to be it for this set of quality of life mods for Project Zomboid. Be sure to check out our part two where we go over another set of quality of life mods because there's just way too many to fit in a single video. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you alive and well in Knox County.